Why freestyle? Um, why do I skate freestyle? That's something I get asked about a lot. We're going to answer it all. Uh, we're going to go for a skate first, though, because I haven't skated for a long time. Uh, and then maybe you'll see some things in here that might make you want to try freestyle as well. Um, let's go have a go. It's grey and miserable because we're in the UK. Um, so let's see how we get on. All right, so why freestyle? Um, well, I've been skating for a minute, kind of over 20 years. I mean, I, I must have started skating a little bit when I was kind of eight or nine. Um, and within that time, I've skated kind of all styles of skateboarding. So I've skated transition, I've done a little bit of street as well. Um, but one thing I was always into is kind of, whenever I get into something, I like to dig deeper into like the origins of, of where these things came about and kind of on that search that's where I came across freestyle. Of course things like the Tony Hawk's video games and such they kind of made me dive into a bit more because I don't think there were many kids around who were skating at the time I was who you know didn't take some influence from seeing um, the sort of the Mullen videos on there and stuff like that but I think the thing that um, made me want to try freestyle more is the skate park I skate at, I mean, it's not great now, but it used to be even worse. Um, but there is a lot of flat ground now. When we were kids, they tore down the skate park for a refit. And all that was there was just this big expanse of, of flat ground. And you kind of just, you know, had to make do with it. So I'd already been skating some freestyle. And I started getting into it more from there. And really sort of digging into freestyle a bit more. And taking that on as like my main discipline. Now I stopped skating for a little bit. Uh, I quit for a few years and then started again about 10 years ago, 10 years ago this year actually. There's a few things that kind of kept me going with freestyle and made me stick with it. First of all, it's that constant need to look for new connections between tricks. There's so much to learn. There's so many variations. You learn all your basic stances, all your basic sort of positions, rail stands, etc. And then you have to expand on them. So it constantly keeps you busy. It's versatile, you know, you can do it in most places. That's not to say that you know, I enjoy skating on a square of flat ground. I don't, I like to roll around, but that versatility certainly helped as well. In the UK, we're not blessed with incredible skate parks uh, in a lot of places, particularly when I started skating. So, you know, it gave me something I could do uh, regardless of the quality of the skate park I was going to. Now, one of the things that I soon noticed about freestyle is that obviously it sits kind of just outside of normal skateboarding. I started skateboarding and got really into skateboarding because I felt like I was a bit of an outcast and I thought I had my community there. Uh, what I found once I got into freestyle is that I was an outcast among other outcasts, you know. Um, and freestyle used to get a bit of stick, a bit of hate. It's different now. I don't think it gets as much, uh, certainly not from what I've seen. Uh, and I kind of interact with a lot of different skateboarders through my work on a, on a daily basis. You know, there's times where it's difficult, you get ripped on and stuff like that, but none of that is important because even when you feel like an outcast, uh, freestyle helps you find your community, or it did with me anyway. Now I know the skate community is supportive as well, but I feel like freestyle has something different. I think that everyone within freestyle is an activist. Everyone is making their own efforts to grow the scene, to do more with it, uh, and to get more people into it, which I think is amazing. You don't always see that in other facets of skateboarding. I can honestly say that some of the, the most rounded, best people that I've met 
that are still my friends now are the people that I've met through freestyle. Like the community has been incredibly supportive um, and genuinely I don't know where I'd be if I hadn't have found that community in the first place. Another thing I really liked about freestyle, it's a different approach. It's something you don't always see. Uh, it's quite niche and I'm quite into niche things. You know, I do things like fossil hunting, but very specific things around that. That niche kind of hobby thing appeals to me. And it has that really punk DIY element to it. Um, you know, every freestyle company pretty much is owned by a freestyler. Contests are set up by freestylers. Near enough every freestyler has like a YouTube channel where they're trying to encourage more people to get into it and to spread information. I like that. I think that's really cool. Other reasons it might be good for you to try freestyle is because it, like I say, it represents that alternative. You don't have to be hurling yourself down a stair set. You don't have to be like, you know, airing out of a quarter. Skateboarding doesn't have to be that. You can have that alternative and freestyle offers that. Particularly to those, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but to those who might be um, a bit more averse to risks and maybe, you know, a little bit more fearful of certain aspects of the really gnarly side of skateboarding, freestyle offers that opportunity to still partake, but without having to do it in that sort of route that is most often kind of marketed to us, where, you know, it has to be gnarly, it has to be like, oh, big ramps, all this lot. It doesn't need to be that. Freestyle gives that alternative to those who maybe want to look for something different or maybe who feel that getting down ramps and stuff just isn't their thing. If you're looking to get into freestyle, uh, I would say attend some events, get out and meet people. Uh, it's all good and well me saying like, oh the community is this and this and this, but unless you go out and see it for yourself, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna know. It's, it's Don't take my word for it is what I'm saying. Go out and, uh, and meet some people. We run jams here in the UK fairly regularly um, and a lot of people that we get at freestyle jams were all quite similar. We're quite nervous maybe around other people, we're quite socially awkward a lot of the time and I don't think that's a bad thing, alright? I think it's just a case of us finding our community and freestyle has helped a lot of people to do that. So regardless of ability or anything like that, freestyle jams offer a opportunity for us all to get together and just bond over something that we really, really enjoy. And that's one of the things that got me into skateboarding in the first place. There's probably a million things that I've forgotten to say because there always is, because I come to do these videos and I don't go in with a script. Uh, you know, there's probably tons of other benefits, I think. And I genuinely think that there are benefits that other people get from it as well. So don't take my word for it. Ask other freestylers, go talk to them, go chat with people out in the community, go meet some people, get involved, um, and hopefully you will get the same benefits that I managed to reap from freestyle, which is that sense of community, that sense of belonging, and at the heart of it, something that is fun and enjoyable. Because when it's not fun anymore, it's time to quit. Cheers for tuning in guys, I hope to see everyone at the Thunderdome in January and some other contests coming up. Um, Drop your reasons why you started skating freestyle in the comments, I'd love to hear them. And let's catch up soon. Have a skate, enjoy yourself. Bye. Bye.